Here we're going to look at some of the major bones of the skull. From this lateral view, we can see the frontal bone, the parietal bone, the occipital bone, the temporal bone, the sphenoid, which spans the width of the skull and kind of has a, a bat or butterfly shape. We can see the maxilla. the zygomatic, and the mandible. Now if we take a little closer look at the eye area, we can see the lacrimal bone. And just behind the lacrimal, we can see the ethmoid. From an anterior view, we can see the frontal bone, the nasal bone, and again the maxilla, and the mandible, and the zygomatic. Now if we look more inside the nose, there are some features that we can see. This is going to be the inferior nasal conch. And now don't be fooled by the next one. The one above it is the middle nasal conch. The middle nasal conch is part of the ethmoid bone, as well as the superior nasal conch. But unless we split the skull in half, we will not see the superior nasal conch. So remember that on a practical exam, when you have a skull and you're looking into the nose, that you're going to see the inferior nasal conch and the middle nasal conch. Now what makes up the nasal septum, uh, the bony septum, is going to be the vomer. And the vomer is kind of a plow shape or boot shape. Uh, structure. As a matter of fact, if we take the skull, we spin it around, and if we were looking at the skull from behind and you know, looking out through his nose, there we go, we're looking out through his nose right now, um, this is all vulmer. Okay, so this entire structure is vulmer. But there's one more bone that makes up the nasal septum, so let's come on back. And this is the perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. And so if we take a look at the two together, there we go. Let's move this out of the way. We can see the bony septum. But again, the way they're shaped, um, the vomer is kind of wedged so the back of the wedge is going to be all vomer. Okay. And the smaller upper part, again, is perpendicular plate of the ethmoid. And that should be it for the review of the skull.